I'm super blessed to have my sister who comes over and helps us. She's our puppy midwife and as an ICU nurse, she has a lot of experience. So it's just nice to have, if you can have somebody else there helping you. Hi there, we thought we would show you um, our setup and some of the supplies that we try to fit together for our mamas who are having puppies. Um, Ellie's kind of in the first stage of labor right now, so we're really excited. And we've kind of got everything set out. We like to have everything ready just in case we need to help mama deliver or help resuscitate a puppy. Hopefully we don't need to do that, but sometimes it's nice to have everything prepared just in case. So we kind of wanted to show you our little bit of setup. So over here we have uh, just a, a set of drawers. We have medical supplies in there. We have other things that we might need that are tucked away in case we need them. This unit right here is a suction um, setup, portable suction. You can order them online. Um, these guys are really great, but if we need something a little more aggressive or perhaps um, something that was going to be sustained as opposed to just the small suction you get from this, um, we would want to grab our suction unit. Uh, this is our new unit. We're really excited about this. This is a baby puppy incubator. And you may say it looks a little bit like a cat box, and it kind of is, but it kind of isn't also. So this we can put a link in the description of how where we got this from. We actually bought this on Amazon, and it's really, really wonderful. On the side here, you'll see that there is the kit we purchased also on um, from a site that um, allows us to transform this into an incubator. So basically, you can change the um, temperature inside the incubator, and then you can also, um, it has just a small fan that we attach to the top on the underside and you can lift this up and see there's a cozy little nest in there. You can also put some like a string of lights in there or whatever if you want or a push button light to see the babies more. Um, we have it set currently on 85 degrees but that allows the um, fan to bring humidity and heat down. Um, it's wonderful if you have a busy mama, you're having puppies and you want to stick them somewhere where it's safe because um, they can't control their own temperature for a while so it's nice to have an area. It's also available for transporting puppies. You can plug it in if you have a plug-in in your car, you can plug it in and it's a wonderful way to safely take your puppies to the vet. So, one of the other things you can do here is there's small little openings on the side. If you have an oxygen concentrator machine um, or a nebulizer that you might need to use for your puppies, perhaps they should have pneumonia or they're having any other difficulties and you want to support them as much as you can, you can stick those um, in here and just kind of feed them in so you can have it be a really um, humidified, warm, nice little nest. So, um, this is an, our oxygen concentrator, super easy, super simple to use, very user friendly, and we can put a link of where we got this as well in the description. It allows us to give up to 90% oxygen, um, so it kind of goes back and forth. There's a nice little flexible tube, we have it kind of set over here. We're just keeping the end of it on the nasal cannula to sit in front of a puppy should they need some um, immediate oxygen after birth, but you could certainly apply a different tube or put it on a mask of some kind if you needed that. Oh, sweet mama. So that's exciting because a lot of times puppies come out and they're blue and you just want a little extra. So getting that fluid out of their nose and getting that oxygen out of there. Um, we have lots of other little supplies here. Important to weigh your puppy right as they're born um, just to make sure they're gaining weight and that they're healthy. So we have a little nest here for their weight. Um, we have a couple other supplies. A lot of it right now is dedicated towards the birthing process, but as you move forward, if for any reason a puppy's not latching or not interested in eating or um, and need supplementation of any kind. There's a lot of different options you can have. Um, one of the options we have, um, I found a wonderful lady who actually makes these nipples and they're just soft and pliable. You can get them in short, medium, long. You can get a, a bottle, you can get a syringe um, with a nipple on the end for a little more delivery. Um, and we'll put a link to her, to her side as well. And I, I just happen to buy these particular sizes because they work for our pups, but you can get a lot. You can get cleft palate nipples for puppies if they have cleft palates. So we're really prepared for that. <clears throat> One of the things that you do is you simply, we bought the narrow um, Dr. Brown's bottle, the four ounce bottle, and that is the best. It fits perfectly in the narrow um, bottle. But anyway, she's got lots of good stuff, so we'll show you that. And there's also a tube feeding kit. It's kind of scary to think about having to tube feed your puppy, but it's actually not impossibly hard. Um, you don't have to be that to do it. We can show you how to do that at some point. Um, and sometimes you need to because the puppies are super weak and they may not be able to get that, but if you can just get the hydration and nutrition in, then they're good to go. So that's always here just in case we need it. Hopefully we won't need it this time. Um, this is actually kind of a clever little device. It's actually just a syringe that's been modified. So you can use this, attach it to the nipple and simply milk her essentially and pull her own milk and colostrum off. 
and then if you needed to give it to the puppy separately, you could. So we have other supplies here. We have our stethoscope to double check everything if we need to resuscitate a puppy, scissors to cut sutures and stuff like that. Um, lots of uh, thermometer supplies here to make sure we monitor her temperature really closely prior to um, going into labor just to make sure everything's right. So we've got that there. These are our little colored bands that we put around their necks to differentiate because the Goldens are all the same color. So we'll keep those, keep those separate, super fun. We have several forceps that we use when the puppy comes out so that we can tie off the umbilical cord. Um, and then we also just use um, any type of suture, really is the best, you, you can order it online. Um, iodine, in case you need to clean off the umbilical area. Um, and then these are wonderful. You can get these at Walmart, anywhere you go. Um, this is our primary way of sucking baby's mouths out, sucking baby's noses out. Uh, and it's really good to have one of these on hand um, for a while, for a couple weeks, just to make sure in case they get boogers in their nose or anything like that. These are super helpful. <clears throat> we just have some extra gauze pads right here, just for babies when they come out, get that uh, sack off, get the fluid off. Um, and so those are really wonderful and super soft. Same thing with this vigorous rub after those babies are born, um, getting those stimulated and getting them clean. And we use gloves when we're doing that just to make sure that nothing on our hands could possibly get into these babies. Um, Uncle Winston is right here, as you can see, he's very excited. Um, they're in such a vulnerable state when they're first born, so we want to make sure we're very careful with that. Hi, baby. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Um, we also have some supplementation for Mama. Um, I'm sure Stacy can tell you more about some of the calcium supplements and the reasons why you give it and some of the times when you would give it and when you wouldn't. Um, it's super important for moms who are in long labors. It kind of helps them continue that uh, force of contraction. So we have some, we really like the Oral Cal Plus calcium supplement. It works really well. Um, we also have some additional, just colostrum supplement. Should we have a struggling baby, we might need to get something in. Um, this is really easy to deliver, so it's also nice. We have a, a little bit of a, this is a sucrose um, solution. Sometimes the blood sugars of the puppies get really low. This wouldn't fix the problem long term, but it would certainly help right in the beginning to kind of get that extra boost. We have more um, puppy pads for the, for the whelping box. We always have something to document on. Um, what color the puppy band is, when they were born, how much they weighed, any difficulties, etc. So Stacy has done an amazing job setting this welcome box up. Um, I really love the ambient light. Normally, if we're not videoing, that the lights are low. Um, we have some soft music playing, and everything's really set up for Ellie to be relaxed. So that's it. Yeah.